Today on What's Hot on the Car Lot with Davey, we have a brand new 2022 Toyota RAV4 XLE Premium in the midnight black metallic color. And the first thing I am going to do is give you a look at the window sticker. So you're going to know everything that is going to be on this vehicle. And what I'm going to do in today's video is do a walk around of both the outside of the vehicle and the inside of the vehicle as well. So let's get started with the outside of the vehicle. So I'm just going to kind of do a walk around, maybe go over a few features with you as I walk around the vehicle. Uh, the vehicle does have the 19 inch super chrome finish alloy wheels on it. Um, the vehicle does have a nice safety feature, which is blind spot monitoring. So you see those two little cars in the side view mirror when they turn orange. It's an indicator that somebody is in your blind spot. And let's walk around to the front of the vehicle, give you a good look at that as well. And I work at a Toyota dealership in West Virginia. And we are on the borders of Ohio and Pennsylvania. So we do sell a lot of Toyota vehicles and other pre-owned vehicles to people in West Virginia, Ohio, and Pennsylvania. And something else which is kind of cool about the vehicle is it does have keyless entry. So typically if you ever see those two little lines on the handle of a door on a Toyota vehicle, it means it's keyless entry. So as long as you have the key in your pocket, or in your purse or whatever the case may be, the vehicle will automatically lock and unlock as long as it indicates that you do have the keys on you. And we'll shift her to the back side of the vehicle. And something else that's nice about this Toyota RAV4 XLE Premium is that it does have a power lift gate on it. So basically by holding this hold button on your key fob, for about three seconds, it will automatically open your power lift gate for you. And then all you'd have to do is either hit this button right here, or just hit the hold button for three seconds on your key fob, and it'll close up your power lift gate. And something else that's pretty cool about this particular vehicle is it does have the blackout emblem package on it. So where you see the RAV4, the Toyota logo, and the XLE all-wheel drive symbols, they all have that blackout overlay on it, which is pretty cool on it. So that's a good spot to stop as far as the outside of the vehicle and i'll start going over the inside of the vehicle all right in just as you a can see here. on this rav4 it does have a pretty nice cargo space in the back area so definitely have plenty of space for your groceries or any other belongings you might put in your vehicle uh, this vehicle does also come with a toyota first aid kit and it looks like a hideaway net as well and I'm going to now show you just what the black soft tech leather that is involved with this vehicle, what it looks like. So we'll start with the back seat area. And I believe the black soft tech is a really nice material. It seems to be very durable and last a long time on these vehicles we have noticed and what we have seen in selling this particular material with a lot of our vehicles. It also has the all-weather floor liners. You can see that as well. And you do even have some extra ports in the back. So if you have kids or whoever sitting in the back seat have the ability to charge their devices as well. All right, now we'll move to the front seat area. And in the XLE Premium model, it does have heated front seats on it as well. So during the winter months, you can definitely take advantage of that as well. 
if you go with the XLE premium option. They'll give you a nice look at the front seats of the vehicle as well. All right, the next thing I'm going to hit on is I'm going to go over some of the technology features of the vehicle. All right, now before we move on to the technology and safety features of this Toyota RAV4 XLE Premium, I would like to take a moment to see if you could please subscribe to the What's Hot on the Car Lot with Davey channel and like the video. I would definitely appreciate that if you could take a moment of your time, subscribe and like the channel. And also please take the time to take a look at all the other videos I have already posted on this channel previously. So let's continue to today's video on the 2022 Toyota RAV4 XLE Premium, where I will go over all the different technology features and safety features of this vehicle. All right, now that we are inside the vehicle, I'm going to go over some of the technology features and safety features of this Toyota RAV4 XLE Premium. The first thing we need to do is have the key fob anywhere in the vehicle. We'll hit this engine start stop button and we'll get the vehicle started up. All right, the vehicle powers up. You see the RAV4 on the dashboard. You'll see the Toyota logo pop up on your touchscreen. And the touchscreen is where we're going to start our video today. So the first thing I'm going to go over with you is some of the things that you will see on the touchscreen. Uh, this is your home menu, and that's what will prompt as soon as you start up the vehicle. Most of the features of this vehicle is going to be right in the menu section. So your audio for your radio, AM, FM, Sirius XM, your phone that you can set up through Bluetooth, if you have any Toyota apps on the vehicle, that projection button that you see will be used for your Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, and you have your info and your setup button for general settings. So I'll click on a few of these, that way you get an idea of what you're going to see when you hit the different buttons on your menu screen. So this will show your AM, FM, uh, Sirius XM Bluetooth options. If you hit the phone button here, it'll prompt you to set up your phone through Bluetooth. It is a pretty easy process. Typically it takes two or three minutes to get your phone set up. Um, the projection button, which I mentioned before, if you have like an Apple iPhone or a Samsung Galaxy or any other Android phone, you can use Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. A very nice feature on our new Toyota vehicles for the fact that as long as you have your phone on you and you plug it into the USB port on the vehicle, then you have access to navigation right on the screen of the vehicle. So it is a very nice feature that our new Toyota vehicles offer. Hitting the setup button there, this will get you into your general settings on the vehicle. And then we'll go above here for a moment. Uh, going above here, uh, this will give you access to how to open and close up and down of the moonroof that you will have on this XLE Premium vehicle. Typically, you do have to go to the XLE Premium trim level to get the moonroof on the new Toyota RAV4s. And also, you'll see the SOS button. Uh, that will alert you with Toyota Connected Services. It's basically Toyota's version of roadside assistance. So if you ever have an issue or you're in out of gas, got a fender bender, whatever the case may be, uh, the SOS button is linked with your cell phone. So you hit that button and the proper help will arrive to help you out with your situation you may be involved with. And then I'll go to your climate settings here. And it's pretty user friendly as far as how all that works. Um, you have your knobs for your temperature controls on this side. You have your fans right in the middle to adjust those up or down how you like. Uh, the button right here will control where the airflow goes. So as far as the climate controls, it is pretty user friendly. Uh, this vehicle does have heated seats. So you can turn those on and off with just hitting that switch right there. And it works for both the front driver's side and the passenger side as well. 
Uh, this vehicle also does have a heated steering wheel, as you can see right there. Hit that button and that will turn on your heated steering wheel on the vehicle. And this is where your transmission is set up. And it's pretty standard on what you see in most Toyota vehicles. While we're on the transmission part, this is a good time for me to show you what the backup camera looks like. And Toyota does have a very nice backup camera that gives you a nice clear and sharp image so you know what's behind you. And on this Toyota RAV4 XLE Premium, you do have a variety of different drive options. So you have normal, which is probably what you're going to have the vehicle in 90% of the time. You have a sport mode, which a lot of this will show up on the dashboard, as you can see here. So if you have in sport mode, uh, it'll add a little bit more RPMs to the front of the vehicle. And, and then you have an eco mode as well. So that makes the vehicle a little bit more fuel efficient, probably best in cases where you may be stuck in traffic or driving through, through the city where there's speed limits of 25 miles per hour or under. That'd be the best use of the eco feature on the vehicle. And then you have a few other features such as the snow feature, mud and sand, and rock and dirt. Then I'll show you, you got two cup holders in the vehicle. This is going to be your middle compartment, and you do have a few extra quick charging ports as well for your cell phone and such. And now I will go over some of the safety features that are going to be on the vehicle. So in the dashboard right here is where you're going to see all the different uh, settings you can set up with the vehicle as far as the safety settings and it's a very simple process all you have to do is on your steering wheel you see this okay button and you see the couple arrows that are there all you gotta do is hit the right arrow and as you hit the right arrow it is going to take you across all the settings that are on your dashboard right through your steering wheel and the very last setting or the second to last setting i should say you'll see this uh circle shaped kind of like a steering wheel looking object there and when you see that this is where all your safety settings are going to be so the first one you see right there is your lane assist and you do have the option to turn on or off many of these safety settings so if you want to turn your lane centering on or off you can do that if you want to adjust the sensitivity the sway warning any things like that you do have that option to do through these safety settings uh, some people do get annoyed by the lane assist in the vehicles for example if you live in an area where there's a lot of potholes or you live in a lot of windy roads you don't want the vehicle to beep at you you do have the option of turning it off uh, pre-collision you have on the vehicle as well uh, blind spot monitoring which i kind of went over with you when i was doing my walk around of the outside of the vehicle so basically what that is is your two little car indicator lights on the side view mirror uh, whenever those two little cars turn orange, it'll let you know that somebody's in your blind spot. And you also have the rear cross traffic alert. And all your other safety settings are going to be right in your menu option right there. And then a few other things I'll go over with the steering wheel before I wrap up the video. Um, you do have the option to pick up phone calls by just hitting the phone icon there. Uh, you can adjust the volume of your radio up and down. Um, your cruise control settings are going to be over on this side. And you also do have the option to set the memory on your seats as well. So you can set your uh, driver 1 or driver 2 based on the key fob you have. And it will give you the ability to when you do get in the vehicle... All you have to do is turn the vehicle on and it'll set the position properly in the seat for you. All right, so I feel that is a pretty good spot to wrap up the video today. I would like to please ask if you could take a moment of your time, please subscribe and like the What's Hot on the Car Lot with Davey channel. 
I would definitely appreciate if you could do that. It just makes it a lot easier for me to provide you future content in the future with Toyota vehicles. And whenever I get a unique pre-owned vehicle, I typically will put that on the page as well. So if you could take a minute of your time, if you subscribe to the channel, uh, like the channel, I definitely would appreciate that. I want to once again thank you for watching today's video, and I hope you do have a great rest of your day.